Hello and welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session we're going to look at the atomic MRAM regulator, so let's take a close look. If we start off by having a look at the first stage, it's a piston design, so obviously you're going to get great performance, but it's also benefiting from a environmental seal as well, which is this cap around the centre, which obviously prevents water from interacting with the parts inside, um, particularly in cold water where it might cause ice crystals to form on the internals, which then lead to free flowing. It's available in the DIN 300 bar, as you can see here, but also 232 bar A clamp as well. Got two high pressure ports, one on either side, and also five ports on the top, two each side, and also got one on the top of the turret as well. This top turret um, port gives the best flow, so if you can route your regulators with this one, you're obviously going to get the most benefit. First stage itself is made from stainless steel rather than the chrome plated brass, as it gives you much uh, better strength. Works with oxygen mixes up to 50% out of the box and it can be cleaned to work up to 80%. It can't run the whole 100% because of the materials that are used in the regulator. The second stage uh, includes different materials including titanium which isn't compatible with 100% oxygen. If we move on to the second stage. Second stage comes with a nice swiveling unit on here, which is fitted as standard, makes it very comfortable to use, as it angles it into the mouth much better, stops it being pulled from one side. On the front, we've got one big purge cover. You'll notice there's no holes in the front of the purge cover, they're all to the side. This uh, helps prevent any free flowing caused by um, currents or anything being pushed to, onto the front of the diaphragm, which then obviously uh, activates the valve. With this cover, also the air, uh, the water pressure can still act upon the regulator, but it's let in through the sides, obviously preventing that free flowing uh, occurrence. On the sides, you can see we've got an adjustment knob on here. This can be wound in or out to change the inhalation effort required to open the valve itself. So by winding that in, you're increasing the tension on the spring, uh, so increasing the uh, resistance required to open that valve. Obviously. Wound out, you're going to get the best performance. If you do need to, you can obviously wind that in. And this other uh, piece on the side is the AFC or automatic flow control. Now this uh, will adjust, uh, depending on the depth and requirements, um, the best flow uh, from the valve to the mouthpiece um, that it can possibly give. So it will automatically adjust to give you the optimal flow. And on the bottom of the Regulating, you see the uh, exhaust valve. Obviously, it's a wide exhaust valve, so it's drawing the bubbles away from the face. You're not going to get any bubbles covering up in front of the mask, causing any uh, just irritation. Um, or, especially if you're a photographer, then you can um, obviously not disturb the marine life you're viewing, but also it doesn't get in front of the camera as well. And finally, the mouthpiece is an incredibly soft mouthpiece. It's actually got two different materials in here. Mouthpiece outer is made from the incredibly soft, thin silicon, but to give it a bit of longevity, these ridges on the inside are made from a much higher density uh, silicon, so you're not gonna bite through there very quickly. But at the same time, all these edges off have been rounded off, giving a nice smooth finish, uh, preventing any irritation being caused to the mouth. So overall, fantastic regulator set with some high-tech technology in there and also some very high-grade materials to give a very high-performing outstanding regulator.